Hello data moms and pops. I am going to share with you the ta Tableau Desktop Specialist Exam Guide. Uh, you can actually go to Pearson. This is the new uh, company that took over for the exam and uh, you can register once you're ready. So basically, um, you know, this is the, you know, the guide, overall guide exam. Um, how is it going to be the the free training is available at the uh, tableau website this is actually very very useful um, if you are switching from any other major to it um, you might want to check out this page uh, spend some time and learn the basic um, you can also actually search whatever information that you need to know. Um, you can go into high level, you can go into basic information uh, that you're looking for. I would highly recommend to create um, a public uh, Tableau page which uh, you can actually work on your projects <clears throat> and anything that you if you decide to take any course uh, via Udemy or YouTube, uh, you can always publish your work here. And uh, this is um, a great way to show, you know, if you're interviewing with, with a company, you can uh, always mention that this is the page that you have and you're actively creating, you know, these uh, visualizations. And um, so going back to the exam guide, um, you can, as, as I told you, you can go to that uh, Tableau uh, website page. It's, the time limit is 60 minute. Um, and, uh, uh, and, you know, it, it'll give you 45 questions. F honestly, I, um, was going for the previous company. Um, I liked how easy the online setup was. Um, there were some hands-on questions, but with this format, the new format, there are no hands-on questions. So basically, you won't be using um, the actual um, Tableau uh, page. Um, the the workbook page um, or you won't even be connecting the data uh, data source but they will ask you questions for instance how would you add more connection what kind of union how can you add a union um, these basic information so it'll ask you you know can you create aliases questions related to that, um, calculated field, and creating bins. Um, it'll also ask you about um, the Boolean and integer. Um, and then when you go to uh, this page, you want to make sure that you go to, go to these tabs and take a look at everything. How do you export? How you... Um, you know, if you need just a skeleton page, um, what, what, once you're done with your workbook, what are, uh, you know, dashboard, what can you add in your dashboard? Then obviously story, um, they won't have you uh, actually work with the workbook. They'll actually want to know, um, you know, based on the terminology. So, you know, bas basically remember, um, you know, the, the columns, rows, this is the mark card, the dimensions and measures. Um, you want to know all of this information. Um, what can you do uh, with dimension and what can you do with measure? Um, and... Uh, Basically, uh, you want to know all of this um, inside out, uh, even 
uh, this page, if you want to create a symbol map, if you want to create a text table, um, pie chart, and it'll, they will ask you questions, how many dimensions and measures are in pie chart, or um, if it's a tree map, um, can you do a size in a tree map? So like basic questions, um, but you want to know that you remember um, everything about all of these uh, different charts. So there are, um, if you want to read more about these charts, you can actually go to the Tableau website page and you can read about all of these charts and you can also read about these marks. Um, you know, whenever you create a bar chart, uh, line chart area, what does it set as automatic or it does it set as circle area or square so it'll basically you you want you want to make sure that you know all of this information um, you also want to know that they'll ask you what is the color of dimension and what is the color of measure um, they'll ask you uh, what's the terminology, what, what is dimension, um, and what is measure, uh, what is dis discrete, and what is continuous. So all of these related to, this is actually heavy. Um, this, will, uh, this will walk you through to the rest of your um, whiz uh, that you'll create, and whatever work you'll do, you you want to make sure you know um, the dimension and measure thoroughly and uh, uh, you know uh, and the dates as well uh, you will be working with uh, different kind of um, yeah, they'll ask you are the dates discrete or they are continuous so all of that information they'll ask you for instance uh, can you aggregate dimensions um, dimensions cannot be aggregated only measures can be aggregated so the all basic information like this will be on your tests so you might want to go over all of that information and um, so going back to this format um, this actually uh, explains everything that's going to be on your test so you know the the basic outline connecting and preparing data exploring and analyzing data sharing insights understanding tableau concepts so i would highly recommend that uh, you go through all of this each and every line um, you know it's just like um, in high school or middle school how you study each terminology that's how this test is going to be uh, it's going to test your knowledge um, it's it's a basic concept um, but if you're pretty brand new to tableau i would highly recommend to go back to these videos uh, this is very helpful also read some medium um, you know related um, articles so this is one of the best article that I found you know it's basically the notes um, and this is for the previous exam but this was this was very relevant to the current exam see how this tells you um, they'll heavily focus on this part they'll focus on this part as well uh, to a server um, and what is the package data source uh, TDS X what's the meaning of it um, and then uh, compared to TDS so it'll compare you know between these two um, and then how you save your data source so there'll there'll be so many questions related to that and um, you are you you want to make sure that you know live connection versus extract so um, when you go to your tableau desktop um, you know page uh, you'll see that 
um, you'll get an option for uh, live and uh, extract. If uh, this is not a uh, desktop version of it, you can download that um, through Tableau website and it'll give you 14 days trial um, if you want to practice. So there will be an option live and extract. So extract is something that, uh, you know, your data is, the performance is great. You can work with the large data set. Live is something that I have connected right now. This is like, you know, your fresh data source that you're working with. But it'll be so, slower than the extract. Extract is something that's quick. Um, so, uh, and then let's go back to those um, so this I will include this um, these are basically notes that someone else created uh, and I, I thought this was very helpful um, and you can tweak these notes uh, you can uh, change to whatever you can change it to based on um, this format since you know you will be focusing on connecting and preparing data and all of these bullets, um, you have to go through all of that. Make sure you do practice um, as well. Uh, one of the websites that I found, um, I was looking through uh, these practice exams, and this is actually, these are the question that you'll get, for instance, which is a snapshot of the data that Tableau stores locally good for very large data sets. So if you look at it, um, it gives you hints already. It says very large data set. So if you have went through that format, you went through these videos, you have worked on your Viz uh, public page, you'll be comfortable um, with the terminology. So it's basically talking about the Tableau Data Extract because Tableau Data Extract works with a very large data set. And um, it's uh, basically, you know, uh, extracts or saved subsets of data that you can use to improve performance. And, uh, you know, this these are the type of questions that you'll get um, and then um, com related to all the measures and dimension um, the default aggregation and then so many more um, check out this uh, this as well you can also google free practice exam and one of um, this person actually for me it was very helpful that this person went through detail by detail um, of this like if you check out his video he actually went through everything basically the whole outline the notes everything um, basic concept um, you're if you're a beginner I, I would highly recommend you check out his video he he was pretty thorough and he knows uh, what he's talking about and it's it was relevant to the exam as well for instance okay. if you okay um, oh, one second huh? um if you look at this this is what i was talking about the connection life and ex extract he will talk about this as well and plus um he will tell you how can you save different type of um, file, TDS, and um, Tableau workbook, um, and then uh, how you'll be connecting to different data, data source. Um, and then um, this, uh, actually, let me just keep going. So, see these simple, um, he'll actually show you um, the dimension and measure. Um, and once you check out this video, um, you will be comfortable and uh, when you are uh, ready uh, with this, um, when you go through this, make sure you do some hands-on work as well um, and so you can get comfortable and uh, you can create some with, you can understand how Tableau works and 
and I think I wish you best of luck um, and go through this guide which is very um, you know uh, it, it tells you everything what's gonna be on on the test so once you go through this it it, it gives you um, the these are the basic um, you know questions uh, for instance uh, which two interactive element can you add to a dashboard? So URL and uh, filter action. So I know this uh, since I have went through all of all of this information. I have also taken Udemy class um, just to uh, do some hands-on project on the side. So. Um, do practice test, uh, do some hands-on project, and if, if you're already working, you're already familiar with the hands-on, but make sure you go um, and um, you also check out uh, the free trainings as well, and you also go through, um, if you have to buy a book, make sure you go through the terminology, but this website is a free resource available for you guys um, to check out and get all of the information that you need. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I will be making more videos um, that will have uh, more information on dimension and measures, how can you create filters, um, so many things uh, that you can learn um, on the uh, you know, this is this is actually Tableau Public, but I will um, I will uh, download uh, Tableau desktop, and I'll actually show you guys how you can um, you know have that free trial, and we can do some of the uh, we can create um, we can do a project, and we can create um, some viz uh, as we go, and I can show you how you work with the workbooks dashboard and story. Thank you so much for watching.